Hi guys, this is BMX121 and today I'm going to be talking about the Huawei P20 Pro versus the iPhone 8 Plus. Now, using the Huawei P20 Pro for the last few days and using the of the 8 Plus, I'm going to get straight to the point. I generally do believe that Huawei P20 Pro is a better phone out of these two. I'm going to give you some thoughts. Maybe you've seen the other reviews already about the Huawei P20 Pro and the iPhone 8 Plus and you know all about the specs. But let me get to the point. The YP20 Pro is more bang for your buck, it just is. This iPhone 8 Plus costs £52 a month in the current contract that it is. But the YP20 Pro, I'm paying £33 a month for 30 gig data from an online website. And it's just hilarious when I think about it that the YP20 Pro is clearly the better phone. It's got an OLED screen, it's not as good as the latest OLED panels on the S9s, but it's more than good enough. The blacks are sticker like black. And it's just really nice to use. Now, the Huawei P20 Pro is using a Kiron processor, a Kiron 970, which some reviewers have claimed, oh, it's last gen. But let me tell you now, it's more than fast enough for everyday needs. And more importantly, for games, it's more than good enough. I can actually, I was amazed and I was very pleased to find out that I can play PUBG on the Huawei P20 Pro at ultra settings, at a smooth frame rate. Well, somewhat smooth. Well, smooth enough, and it's just it's just great. It plays games good, and it's more than good enough. And oh yeah, let me go back to the screen. So the screen is a taller, I think eighteen by nine, if I'm not wrong, screen ratio on the Huawei P20 Pro, as opposed to the normal sixteen by nine screen ratio that's been traditional in the eight pluses. So the screen, I think, is both equally good, even though to this day. The eight, the iPhone uh, screens, they're not quite HD, not including the X. The iPhone screens are still clear and they're just really nice to use. I can definitely say that from using a lot of the iPhone 6s in the past and the 7s, which my sister has, the six pl the 8 Plus has just something, there's something different about the 8 Plus in terms of the colour. It's just, it's got like um, a realistic, uh, it's got... Uh, modes which can adjust the color and it's just really nice to use it's almost like a google pixel 2 if i'm not wrong sometimes it feels like that the colors on the hawaii p20 pro as i said because it's an OLED panel it can be very bright and they're more than good enough in fact actually sometimes what i found with the hawaii p20 pro is that if you put it to half brightness Sometimes in a normal or slightly dim lit room, whoa, this screen is bright. Even though it's not full brightness, it's more than bright enough. Now, one of the main issues and uh, with smartphones today is cameras. It's a big thing, cameras. And let me get straight to the point. The Huawei P20 Pro is the better camera, not just between the 8 Plus, but also between almost all smartphones as of now. It's just an amazing camera. I can show you some pics of myself. So um, the portrait mode in the YP20 Pro is really good. As it has triple lenses, you can tell it really utilizes them to give the really good bokeh effect. So here's a, sorry, my bikes. Here's a photo of my dad. It's not very clear in the video you're watching now, but if you see it in real life, it's very clear. In fact, it's astonishing. It almost looks like this photo was taken with the Canon. The way they blur the background, they don't lose focus of the arms of the table and it just captures and bokehs the whole body compared to the background. It's brilliant. There's also another photo of me. So it's not very clear at the moment because uh, of the resolution of the video. But if you see it in real life, it's clear. And the photography department is definitely a worthy reason to buy the Hawaii P20 Pro. But I digress. When it comes to the video, the Hawaii P20 Pro isn't as good as the iPhone 8 Plus. You know, I need to be talking more about the 8 Plus. So the 8 Plus can shoot in 4K60, and obviously that's a win. It, it, when it comes to video, 8 Plus is better. So if you're a big thing, if video is a big thing for you, maybe go for the 8 Plus. When it comes to usability, the 8 Plus, it just, it's just the same. The iOS is fast, iOS is easy to use, and if you've been using iPhones like many people for the last two or three generations, you're going to feel at home. Everything's going to be easy and simple. The YP20 Pro uses Android, and 
uh, right now I have the navigation bar removed which is a really cool thing what that does is it increases the screen real estate so you can just say you can just see a lot and that's very cool that's uh, really awesome and uh, yeah that's yeah it just feels nicer it feels like a big phone it really does feel like a big phone but a phone that's you that you can use every day and as I mentioned the OLED panel makes the colors look really nice really good but um as but anyways when it comes to the screen they're both good screens okay and uh i think as i mentioned because they're not quite hd they uh they're not as clear as the s9s or maybe the pixels but they're very good they're more than good enough now if you really are confused as between which one you want to buy as i mentioned the hawaii p20 pro the, the Hawaii P20 Pro is a better phone, and I really would recommend you to go to the Hawaii P20 Pro. You're getting more bang for your buck, the camera's better, I like it, the screen's better, and the screen's just nicer to look at. It's tall, the, the ratio, you know, a lot of people, they don't like this much. Uh, I've seen it being criticised in Samsung ads, but I don't know why, I love the notch. I think it just, it, I think it, it makes the phone look premium, because after all, it is a premium phone, I'm paying a lot of money for it, over time. And... It's a nice one to look at, which keeps me satisfied. The iPhone 8 screen is more than good enough. The In fact, the iPhone 8 Plus in general is a great phone. Uh, it's fast, as I mentioned. Obviously, I don't think that it's as better looking, the screen, as the P20 Pro. It's just, I think that 69 by, that's 16 by 9 ratio. It's not as good. Oh yeah, by the way. Both phones, they don't have headphone jack. That's something to think about or to remember. They come with good headphones out of the box. I'm going to say that. And uh, from my experience, those, those headphones, yeah, they're great. They're not... I wouldn't say they're maybe as good as Sennheiser quality. But um, to be honest, I've never used Sennheiser. And uh, they're more than good enough, the headphones that come out of the box. They both don't have a headphone jack. And that's... I don't know why they did that. Why Why did you guys do that, Hawaii? You, you could have included the headphone jack. But it, it's not really an issue from uh, my time using the P20 Pro. So anyways, thanks for watching my video. If you made it this far, uh, please give a like, maybe subscribe. I don't really have that many subscribers. But I just hope this was informative. And, let me, and I'll mention again, I really do think the most bang for buck you can get between these phones is the Hawaii P20 Pro. It's just a better phone in general, in my opinion. It's a nice phone, it's fast. Don't, even though it's not got as good of a processor, in the end of the day, from my experience, you can still play games at high settings and it's nice to use. And just the camera's a deal breaker if you're very into photography. Keeping that in mind, the iPhone 8 Plus, as I mentioned, does shoot in 4K 60 FPS. So when it comes to video, the 8 Plus is actually a little bit better. But yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you have a good day.